Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making uh, 10 cards with the So Much Pun collection from Doodlebug. And the things that I purchased are the 6x6 pattern paper. And I'm going through all of the different patterns from this collection. I also picked up the mini icon stickers, the icon cardstock stickers with a ton of images. I've got the odds and ends cardstock and the chit chat cardstock. Of course, I also had to pick up a few of the doodle pops. And as it so happens, my favorite is the llama, and I too got into the cart. I don't know how. So for card one, I've I've pre-die cut everything so that I can speed through this process because there is 10 cards and it does get lengthy at times. So for card one, I cut a piece of yellow cardstock. And I often do cut out the parts that nobody will see. It's just the paper hoarding person inside. And sometimes I'm glad I do that because I actually use up those pieces. So then I took the adorable little alien pattern paper. And I adhered that on top of that yellow card, cardstock. And then for this first card, I chose to use the Alien Doodle Pop along with a thank you sentiment. I add the moon from the Doodle Pop sticker and I pop up a couple of the stars. And there's a completed card. For the second card, I took the pattern paper and an MFD die. And I also took some of the yellow cardstock. This, this one happens to be my least favorite. And it's only because of the color combination I used. Anyhow. I take the frame and I pop that up in some foam tape and I add that to my card base. And then I take the pattern paper and I place that back inside the frame. And the scallop square cardstock, I add some foam tape to that. I pop that up and I place that in the center and then I put my little turtle and that's the only reason why I don't absolutely hate this card. Maybe hate's too strong of a word, but the saving grace is the fact that I have a turtle on there. Otherwise there's nothing I like about this card. Anyhow, the sentiment comes from the chit chat pack and it says don't hurry be happy and then I take my little turtle and I adhere him directly onto the piece of yellow cardstock for some finishing touches, I take the Wink of Stella glitter pen and I add that to his little shell. And I take some enamel hearts. These are just, I believe, Recollections brand. And I pop a couple of those on there and that will complete card two. For card three, I took a card base that was 
off white and I took a piece of pattern paper and I've cut it in half. I adhere that directly to the card base and then I take the dinosaur doodle pops and I add those as my images, my focal point images. The sentiment I take and I pop that up and it says, what does it say? Happy birthday. So then I was left with this bottom right hand section that was sort of empty and I, I wasn't sure what to put there so I thought I'd draw in some stitch lines to sort of fill in the card and that really didn't didn't solve the problem. It, it just didn't appeal to me. So then I took one of the really huge sentiments and I decided to cut off the dynamite and just use dino. And after I pop that on there and I place it down, I realized my dino looks like he's pooping it out. So I try to peel off the dinosaur and he's just not going. It nope, not happening. So it it just is gonna have to look like that. Unintentional, but what can I do at this point? So for this next card, I had my sister in mind and she this is one of her favorite desserts. I always manage to butcher the name. I think it's flan. It could be flan. Flan just sounds a little bit more appetizing. Anyhow, the the teal cardstock, I just took that from my stash. I believe it's an MFT piece of cardstock that I had. And I cut that out to fit my card base and then I took the patterned paper and I used a like a scalloped edge and I die cut that and then I'm taking my focal point image and I'm just popping that up on some foam tape and I'm going to place that in the center of my card. The two little pink hearts. I just add that just to spruce it up a little bit. There's very little sprucing up needed honestly because the pattern paper and the images really just take the whole card. And the sentiment I took from the chit chat pieces and it reads I'm your biggest flan on. For a final touch, I add some glossy accents where the sugar, the melted sugar would be. And that will complete card four. So for card five, I took a piece of the pattern paper from the pack and I've die cut it using one of the largest Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. And then I'm taking the mini icon stickers and I've just cut off the, the strip of the striped paper. And I add the striped paper to the card base next to the the other pattern paper just to kind of break out the monotony of the polka dotted paper. 
and then I took two circles that I've die cut from some, I believe this is the same MFT paper I used earlier, and I pop those on there, and then I take my cake and cookie images, and I add some foam tape, and I add those to the circles. And then the sentiment I also pop up on foam tape. And for a little shimmer, I add the Wincombe Stella to the cake, and that will complete that card. For card six, I took a rounded corner stitch die from MFT, and I die cut a piece of pink cardstock, and all my colored cardstock either comes from MFT or Simon Says Stamp. So continuing on, I'm taking the floral pattern paper and I've die cut that using one of the largest Lawn Fawn dies. And then for my stash, the ribbon that I had was from an old Halloween collection, but this one is just black and glittery, so I thought it kind of fit well with the colors on the front. So I added a couple of strips of the ribbon, and what's nice about this one is that it's self-adhesive, so I don't have to fiddle with that. Once I have all of that together, I add my pattern paper to a card base and trim off a little bit of the excess. And then I take the rounded rectangle and I cut some fun foam from my stash and I add that to the back. And then I'm taking my favorite image from this collection, which is the Little Llama, and I used the Doodle Pop stickers for this. And I add him to that, and then I take the sentiment that says No Prob Llama, and it's so freaking cute. This one I'm probably going to just keep for myself. And then I had happened to have some of these doodle pop, doodle bug, <laughs> doodle bug enamel stickers, and the colors match perfectly. So I add a couple of the teal hearts to the to the card. For my next card. I took the pattern paper, I'm using the one with the stars on it, and again I just cut out the center because I may need it later, and, and I believe as it turns out this one I do use in one of the later cards. So all of these cards are relatively simple. I have a book, or a binder rather of different sketches that I've used in the past or that just appeal to me. And when I create these cards that have a layout design to them, I'll often refer to that booklet to sort of either guide me or give me a jumping off point. And so that's what I've re been referring to in this when I've created all of these cards. So hopefully there was enough of variation in them to give you some ideas. So back to the card. To finish off the card, I add the little rocket, the sentiment that says have a blast, and a few little stars to finish it off. 
Now car onto card eight, I took another piece of cardstock, a uh, white cardstock, and I took the same rounded rectangle stitch die and I cut that out. And then I just added a little bit of spun sugar, I believe, to the background. I also die cut a piece of vellum just to tone down the brightness of that background paper. So now to put all of those pieces together, I'm adhering the the rainbow paper to a an a two size card base and then I take the focal point panel and I add that to the vellum so that I can add some adhesive to the back of that and adhere the vellum down And then once after I added the acrylic block to weigh that down to give it a little bit of stability to dry, I took my two images and I've popped them up on some foam tape. I figure out where they're going to go and then I take the sentiment that reads the world needs more people like you and I add that. And then I again take that same doodle bug stickers. I don't think it's from this collection. It's just something I happen to have in my stash. But like I said, the colors match so perfectly. I thought I would give it a go. And then I add the Wink of Stella to the Little Marshmallow. And that will complete that card. So for card nine, I took one of the pattern papers that was sort of an off cut and I'm taking two thin strips of black cardstock and adhering that to the back of it or to the side of it. Once I have that done, I can take this really beautiful orange pattern paper and I die cut that using one of the largest Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. I add the orange pattern paper to an A2 size card base and then I can take my my little panel that I created there and center it in the middle of the card. And then this is also one of my favorite cards. I take the little otter and he's so adorable. I pop him up on a little bit of foam tape or foam squares. And then I try to figure out where he should go relative to the sentiment. And then for a final touch, I take a few of the green hearts and I add that to the card. And there's a close up of the, the ninth card. For my last card that I made, I took a piece of pattern paper, again one of the offcuts from an earlier card, and the green stripe paper, and I quickly make a card base since I ran out. I miscalculated something somewhere. And then I could start layering my pattern paper. So first I'm adding the green stripe paper and then the 
there's like a little alien and sun and moon and stars and outer space we can say and then one of the off cuts that I I took out of the middle of a panel I happened to be using that for this card which was perfect since it fit perfect and I had no more of this paper and then I take the Saturn planet and I add him to the center and the sentiment that reads you're out of this world and then just to finish things off I take a few of the cardstock die cut stars and I add those to the card and that will complete all 10 of the cards so I hope you found this video helpful in inspiring you to use not just stamps but pattern paper and some die cuts to create quick cards. Let me know what your favorite card was from this collection that I made. I always love to hear feedback and thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.